Up next is Tulane and head coach Willie Fritz. Uh, Green Wave is 2-4 and four overall, 1-1 one and one in the American Athletic Conference. Uh, Tulane was idle last week. It's back in action Saturday against SMU at Yulman Stadium, 3.30 Eastern, 2.30 Central on ESPNU. Uh, coach, thanks for joining us on the call today. Just take a minute to give us your uh, thoughts on how your open week went as you prepare to get back into our league play with a big West Division game against the Mustangs, please. Well, it, it, it fit right during our fall break. Uh, we did not have school on Thursday and Friday, so we practiced Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I cut the guys loose. And, uh, you know, then we're going to have a normal week of practice uh, beginning with today. So I thought that was good for the guys, you know, after six games, halfway point of the regular season to, to be able to take a few days off. And I think most of the guys went home, all the ones who are not here from uh, New Orleans, but a chance to heal up and had a good practice this morning. And, you know, a lot of guys available that uh, probably wouldn't have been if we would have had a game last weekend. Uh, you know, looking forward to SMU. I think Coach Tykes has done a super job over there. He's had a very difficult schedule and, and uh, – you know, you see some good things from them in all three phases, really explosive return game, uh, punt return and kick return, and uh, doing a really good job offensively of spreading the field and getting the ball to fast people and, and open spaces. And, you know, defensively they cause you problems because they come at you a bunch of different a- angles, uh, second level, a lot of second level blitzes. And, you know, so uh, – you know, this is going to be a heck of a challenge for us on Saturday. We'll take questions for Coach Willie Fritz, please. Star one on your telephone keypad will put you in the queue, and the operator will introduce you. Our first question is from Leo Haggerty with It's Sports Magazine. Good morning, Coach. Good morning. How are you? Uh, Coach, I'm fine. Just catching a plane now back to Tampa, but uh, a little bit of a touchy question today. Does the NCA at the end of the year need to review the targeting rule? I, I'm seeing so many calls with players being ejected, and time and space is not even taken into consideration, especially when the ball carrier changes his ankle. Does this need to be looked at, do you think? You know, I heard, uh, heard you asking uh, Josh that right before I got on, and, you know, I, I you know, echo his comments. I just think, you know, Sometimes it happens bang, bang, and I think it's hard for a guy to change angles and, and maybe the helmet and helmet occurred because of changing the angle by the offensive player, not the defensive player. I think it is great in principle. We, we need to get the head out of contact as much as we possibly can. Everybody agrees with that, coaches, players, administrators. Uh, but I think sometimes it's difficult to, uh, you know, you, you certainly don't want to, uh, penalize a player for something that would, would have been really difficult to avoid. Thank you, Coach. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Any other questions for Coach Fritz, please? Star one on your telephone keypad, if so. Let me wait to see if we have others. Coach, can I just ask you about the kind of the oh, – we do have one come in. I'll, I'll certainly stand by and take the next question, please. Our question is from Chris Dave with NOLA.com. Hey, Coach. Um, I just wanted to ask about the, the quarterback situation. I know you talked about it a bit last week, but how do you um, – or what's maybe the time frame on maybe making a, a decision on who's going to start and uh, or if you're going to split reps like you did in the last game? You know, we're going to see how the week plays out, exactly what we're going to do. Uh, so we had a first practice today, and, you know, we're going to go through the week and just see how everything goes. We're both doing a nice job, though. So. Coach, the one I was going to ask you, just the, the, uh, specifically with the SMU game coming up, and you know, you're, you're sitting here at 1-1 one one in the conference with the preseason favorite in the West Division in the rearview mirror already and the, with a positive result there. Uh, this is a game that potentially, uh, that you'll be, if the winner will be no worse in second place and potentially in a tie for first place in the, on the west side. Uh, do you get into those the ramifications of, of this? Or is it still too early to talk about that, things like that with your team and what's on the line? Are you more focused on the opponent itself? I think it's pretty early to start talking about that. For, for us, we, we just need to get a win. And, you know, uh, you know, uh, all the coaches talk about it, teams, you know, being 1-0 each week for us. 
we, we got to make sure that we're, you know, focused on the task at hand. And, uh, you know, obviously that's SMU. We need to play a great ball game Saturday. Uh, we've got a lot of respect for, for them. They've, uh, they've beaten us in a couple close games the last couple of years. Got a lot of talent and ability over there. And, and uh, we just need to play well and, and just put everything into this ball game. Hey, well, thank you so much for your time today, Coach. We look forward to hearing from you once again next Monday.